Seagit and what was that song called? Two. Two. Like the number? Like the number two. How do you write songs? Like one of those songs you just played, how did that happen? I think that I do it very differently than other people, but I sit down and I usually write a guitar part first. I, ne actually, I not usually, I never really write a vocal part first, but I will write the guitar part and for like that one song it was just this right and it's the same thing up here whatever um you just gave away your secret i did <laughs> um but i obsessively play that over and over and over again and like for sometimes a couple hours uh -huh. and if nothing's coming out like uh, lyrically i guess i will record that and then i will listen to it obsessively and like the, just the guitar part, just the guitar or just part. whatever happens. Just the guitar part, or I will play it until the song comes out, like squeezing a lemon. Mm. And when I hear your songs, I kind of often like the guitar part and the voice part are to me like what makes them really cool is that they're pretty disconnected. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Whenever I've written songs, it's like following the guitar part in a oh. very clear way, whereas. You must find that happening somehow, but do well, you see like a disconnect between those I, two parts? Of well, I mean, I did have formal training um, for a few years, and I got really into like counterpoint stuff or contrapuntal 
or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's um, how you're supposed and to then say. I made this goal for myself um, because I kind of went down like a, like a country vein or in a country vein, whatever. And I said, I'm going to write songs that are challenging to me in all the ways. So I want them to be super, super real. I want them to be really honest and like about just what I'm thinking about. And it could be based on like just any random thought I had. But other than that, I was like, how can I make it vocally fun for me, vocally interesting for me? And one of the ways was to just kind of scale some stuff back. I think the first song I played was a little bit more like classically driven or picky. Um, <clears throat> but I had, I did think about that, like writing a really simple guitar part and then kind of focusing on interesting vocal melodies and like things that were a little bit weird but still like emotionally appropriate it's weird now that you mention it i do think about that a lot so when you perform you're often like very at least like visually you appear like very wrapped up in huh. in what's happening right there uh -huh. do you feel like i almost sometimes get to feel like one thing that i really like is that it almost feels like you're just singing it for yourself because you really enjoy it the best shows are the ones that feel like you're just in your room. Like the ones that feel natural and almost like you're by yourself. And there have been times when I've been playing and I do forget that I'm with like a big group of people. And those are like my favorite moments. I think, I mean, I did make a conscious choice to pursue something that was more authentic than what I was doing. So that like part of it is I do have to sing about sometimes things that are super hard for me to talk about or that it's a little bit more of like more confessional than I've ever done. So I can't fake it because then it sucks. <laughs> what was the first music that <clears throat> just you're like, oh, music, this is sweet. This is do you sweet. Remember, do you, you remember? know, it's funny. I do know. And it's an embarrassing. It was. The Simpsons sing the blues, <laughs> and it was <laughs> it was uh, that album. <laughs> the Simpsons sing the blues. But specifically, it Damn was it was um, Lisa Simpson sing "God Bless the Child," and as a little kid, I think I just attached to the fact that it was about a kid, and then I searched that song out, and then I discovered like Billie Holiday, and for the longest time, I was just into music from like the 40s to the 60s, and that's all I listened to. I don't know. I guess. Does that answer the question? Yeah. Lisa Simpson. Lisa Simpson. And now you're going to play another another tune for us. Called Conversation. Conversation. Yes. All right. <laughs>